Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how do you write the experimental report for MSc Physics Laboratory. So here you can see this is the front page which you have to attach with every experimental report that you are going to submit. Here there are several sections. Let us see one by one. So the first one is name of the student. So here you have to write down your name. The one after that is roll number. Next one is course. So let's say for the current semester, you are doing electronics laboratory. So the course code will be PH430. Next, you have to write down the academic year, which will be the current academic year. That is 2022-23. The one after that is the experiment. So here you have to write down the title of the experiment on which you are going to submit the report. Okay, the one after that is experimental sessions. So here you have to write down those dates on which you have performed the experiment. For example, let's say if you have taken two afternoons to complete one experiment, then you write down those specific dates. Let's say if it is 27th of July and 29th of July, then you write down those dates. If you have taken more than that, then you can add and additional dates here also. Next, we have to write the date of report submission. So this will be the date on which you are submitting the report to the laboratory or physically you are handing over the report to a staff. staff. Usually your report will be due on the week after you finish the experiment. So here, if you make any delay in submitting the report, then some marks can be deducted. The one after that is comment. So here, if you have any specific comment that you want to make and you want the instructors to have a look at it, then you can write it down here. So this comment could be of any type. For example, for some particular reason, you have not been able to gather the data or maybe your circuit has some problem or the meter that you have used had some specific issue. So it could be anything. So please feel free to write down the comments here, but do not write just any useless comments like the wire was broken or like that. Just write specific to the experiment if there is any technical points which you feel relevant for this particular experiment and it's worth mentioning, please write it here. So this is the section uh, or part A you can say in the lab report where you have to fill in these informations. Now in the second part, you can see here that this is the marks and here as it says to be filled by the instructor. So typically it will be filled up by the examiner or the instructor who will be examining this report. So here there are different sections on which you will be awarded marks based on the report you will be submitting. So as you can see there are several sections. The first one is aim and experimental setup. That one carries 10 marks and there are several others so all total the experimental report will be evaluated on out of 100 marks now in the first section so here you have to write down the aim of the experimental setup so for the first part here you have to write down the specific aims relevant to this particular experiment so here you are supposed to write down the useful information like if you have any circuit diagram please make a very clean and nice circuit diagram and uh, mention all the useful circuit components. So here, so here you can write down, so here you can write down the, so here you can write down the useful aims which are relevant for this particular experiment. Don't make this section too big, just write the key points here. For example, if you have any circuit diagram, draw a neat and clean circuit diagram mentioning clearly all the useful components and please use symbols here so this section ideally should not be more than half a page the one after that is data collection so here this is the primary part where your data whichever you have collected should be noted down so you should be preparing tables and these tables should have 
columns which will be containing the data and each column should have specific variables with units and in the data whichever you will be collecting that will have proper significant digits for example if you are writing down 20 volt then in next one you are writing 20.005 then you can see there is an inconsistency in the numbers that you are mentioning here so here you are supposed to write down the numbers in a uniform format and uh, whenever you are collecting the data in the laboratory please get it verified by one of the teaching assistants or the instructor okay so he will or she will be just taking a note of the reading which you have taken and that reading should be displayed on the meter which you will be using so that par particular reading will be kind of cross verified and signed so please make sure that particular page is included in the report next one is data plotting so as you know that in any experimental report data plotting is very important so this helps us in visualizing the nature of the data that you have collected so here you are supposed to make uh, the plots using a graph paper so this graph paper could be simple linear graph paper or it could be semi logarithmic based on the experiment that you will be doing now here are several key points while you are plotting a graph paper that these plots have to be made by hand so do not make these plots using any computer software so you are supposed to draw it with your hand using pencils so first of all you need to make proper axes level them units should be clearly mentioned then you try to make use of the maximum area of the graph so for example it was observed that sometimes people draw a graph where third fourth of the area is left blank but that is not going to help you unless if you have something else to write down in that area so if you have certain area on the graph paper please make sure that you can use it so you can get a very clean and nice graph now another point to note down here is that suppose you have several data points and these data points you can fit it with a particular equation so whenever you are fitting it you make sure that the fitted line should not go beyond the actual data you have collected so maybe we can discuss this further in another video or lecture the one after this is analysis and observation so here you have to make the analysis of the data which you have collected so typically let's say you have to um, find out the value of a particular quantity from the data maybe that could be by using a fitting algorithm or it could be simply by using a particular formula so that comes under this section so here you should be clearly writing down all the uh, kind of like uh, quantities which you are supposed to derive find values etc and in this section also you are supposed to do an error analysis on the quantities which you will be estimating for example suppose you are estimating the value of a particular quantity which is a function of few variables so what you will be doing here is that you are also required to calculate the maximum proportional error which could be associated with that particular quantity so you probably um, are familiar with maximum proportional error or uh, analysis or otherwise i can probably do a video later on on that um okay so next one is conclusion so here it will be containing the main conclusions which you are getting from the particular experiment the one after that is viva so this will be a person to person uh, interaction so here individuals will have to give a viva on each experiment and the viva performance will give you the marks here the one which is the last one is outlook and suggestion or comments so here if you have any specific outlook from that experiment for example if you have something out of the box which is not written in a textbook 
or you particularly feel that this experiment could be modified in this way, which will probably give you better accuracy, or somehow this experiment could be used for something else. So you are supposed to write down these things. So altogether, you will have total 100 marks for one particular experiment. And your once you submit the experimental report, then all those um, kind of evaluation will go on on this. OK, so I hope this explains most of the things. So you are not supposed to write anything in the second section. This will be filled up by the instructor itself. OK, so I hope we are done here. Thank you all. Bye.